Chapel Master Director of the Chamber Music at the Court of Anhalt Köthen. My father was court and field trumpeter at Weissenfels and my brother was a trumpeter at Anhalt Serbs where I had sometimes sung at discretion with the chapel. And I was soon engaged as a singer to the prince at the court of Anhalt Köthen. His wife had died a year before and from the marriage three sons and a daughter were alive, Katharina Dorothea Wilhelm Friedemann, Karl Philipp Emanuel and Johann Gottfried Bernhard. For Friedemann, the father had started a little clavier book in which after various practice pieces came further pieces which were soon made into two particular works for the profit of musical youth desirous of learning. He soon started a little clavier book for me as well. He had a gracious prince who both loved a new music, with whom he also intended to end his lifetime. But it had to happen that the Serene Highness should marry a princess from Bernburg, and it would now take on the appearance as if his musical inclination was becoming rather cool, all the more as the new princess seemed to be an Amusa. So God disposed that he should be called to Leipzig as director of music and cantor at the Thomas School, although at first it didn't seem at all proper to him for a chapel master to become a cantor. Therefore all this resolution dragged on for a quarter of a year.
Ever since his youth he had been moved by a particularly strong desire to hear as many good organists as possible, so that from Lüneburg, when he was still at school, he often went on foot to Hamburg. And he was, when barely 18 years old, called as organist of the new church in Arnstadt. From there he once made, and indeed on foot, a journey to Lübeck to hear the famous organist of that place, Mr. Dietrich Buxtehude. He was then called as organist at the church of St. Blasius in Mühlhausen, and very soon as organist to the court of Weimar, where his gracious lord's pleasure at his playing had inflamed him to try everything possible in the art of handling the organ. He knew also thoroughly the construction of organs and had once been invited by the University of Leipzig to examine the new large organ of the St. Paul's Church. But as Cantor, he had no duties as organist. He was the most senior teacher at the Thomas School after the rector and the vice-rector, and since the school provided the music for four churches in the town as well as for weddings and burials, he had to apply all possible care so that the boys, who were capable of singing and could accomplish something in music, were well instructed in this. To the new church and to St. Peter's church came the boys who had nothing to sing other than motets and chorales, and to the two principal churches, St. Thomas and St. Nicholas, those who had to do with other concert music. He had the supervision of the organist and of the town pipers and the violinist who had to work here with the boys, and he had to provide concert music for the divine service every Sunday except the last three Sundays of Advent and the Sundays of Lent. Christmas, Easter and Pentecost were celebrated with concert music for three days, and for these great feasts the music performed in the morning service at one church was performed again in the afternoon during Vespers at the other church. The same for New Year, the Feasts of Epiphany, Ascension, Trinity, St. John, St. Michael and the Reformation, as well as for the three Feasts of Mary and the renewal of the Town Council. There too he had to provide the Passion Music for Vespers on Good Friday. Also the Kyrian Gloria and the Sanctus were occasionally concerted and the Latin Magnificat at Christmas.